pushing that spot into the ground. Three, two, one. Hey, what's going on guys? We are back with another RDL variation. So today we're gonna to be going over a tempo RDL, but the tempo portion is gonna be specifically to the concentric portion or the way up of the Romanian deadlift or RDL. So why would we do this, you're wondering? <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say, come out of the hole, fire out of the hole, lift fast, be aggressive, be as aggressively fast or as explosive as possible, whatever combination of those like five or six words you've heard, um, it's probably coming to your mind right now, okay? Know that that is very important stuff for speed strength, rate of force development, or power development, but what we're concerned with is not that. We're trying to build movement patterns for sustainable longevity within your recreation or sport. Um, so with that being said, we do kind of really need to like lay the foundation, set the prerequisite motor skills, before we can move to that whole moving fast and explosive stuff. So what this is really good for is if you start to feel like on the way down, you're feeling tension in certain muscles, on the way up, you're experiencing tension in different muscles, or if you're experiencing some sort of like weird joint pain or any sort of like spasm or something in certain muscles, you're probably finding yourself in a bad or suboptimal position on the way up. And that's super normal because a lot of us just want to get the heck out of that bottom position. So we do things like fling <laughs> or we get in a good position and we end up like shifting and finishing. <laughs> like you're not competing in powerlifting. No one cares if you can go from the bottom to the top. What people do care about is if you can like play golf with them on the weekends because you're healthy or continue to support your sponsors because you're able to compete and be a professional athlete. Or maybe just play with your kids or something like that. Yeah, taking it down to the base level, of course, this is super applicable for all of our athletes. But every single person bends down to pick things up throughout the day. So do you want to be able to do that in a pain-free way when you're old? Yes, I do. So I'm going to do some reps. And then Lily's going to coach you through it. One thing I really want you to look out for is how much like little sort of like perturbations or sort of uh, movements the muscles of my lower extremities have and just how active it looks like I'm going. This isn't just like lifting slowly. This is lifting slowly, but with intent behind it. So all those muscles that you're normally avoiding, that are maybe really weak or maybe underdeveloped, or those muscles that quote unquote don't grow or can't grow, those things are gonna be freaking firing on this, okay? So don't run, double down, keep your positioning, keep your principles solid, breathe bracing foot, and really enjoy that challenge and enjoy that struggle and enjoy the novelty and different experience and sensation of a movement that you've probably done a ton. And if you need any refreshers on those principles, we have tons of videos that go over that stuff. This is not the place to start with those principles, right? So John is gonna have all his principles in place, breathing 360 degrees, keeping his weight centered over his feet as he lowers down. Spinal positioning is staying perfect. Look at that. And on the way back up, he's gonna pause or go slow, excuse me. We're doing the eccentric. Nice. I'll count this time. And then coming up from the bottom, three, two, one. Awesome. And one thing I'm really thinking about here is I'm imagining the spot right here, about an inch in front of my ankle, kind of the middle point between the little toe, big toe, and heel, those points of pressure that I have on the ground. And I'm thinking about pushing through that spot to raise myself up. Okay, and you'll notice that my legs really start to get queasy there. If I just think about coming up, I'm gonna extend through my back, okay? So I really, 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 Lily's doing the counting so I don't have to focus on that, and all I'm focusing on is that spot on that foot and drilling that spot into the ground. Three, two, one. Let's show another one. Weight staying centered on the feet, three, two, one. And as you can see, John can, can do an RDL with way more weight than this, but that's not the point. What we're doing right now is we're strengthening in the areas that we normally avoid by a little bit of rotation, by a little bit of speed. Let's get all of our parts holistically strong together. Yeah. And this exercise is going to be a little bit lower weight than you're used to. Um, 
that being said, it's also a great exercise to throw in there for an accessory movement to practice the hinging pattern while creating a self-limiting or kind of like lower ceiling movement that isn't gonna like fatigue you out as much as your normal RDLs or deadlifts or something like that might. So enjoy. <laughs> 